Come let's dance to the Lord. 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 Come let's dance. Come let's dance to the Lord. Come let's dance to the Lord. Come let's dance to the Lord. Come be right to home. 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 Yes. Yeah. 
love me too much, oh. Oh. Lift you higher, so we want to be lifted with you. So we want 
our lives to be lifted. So we want our feet to be lifted. This evening we are in your presence. Lift up your glory in this place tonight. Manifest your glory in this place tonight. As we come to Jehovah, as we lift our voices to worship you, receive us tonight. Receive us tonight. Receive us, O Lord. Receive us, King of Glory. Receive our worship, O Lord. Receive our worship, O Lord. Receive the glory that proceeds from our hearts. Receive the honor that we bring to you all heartedly. Receive us, O God, as we prevail in your presence, as we open our hearts today. Receive us, O God. Receive us, O God. Receive our worship, O God. Receive our worship, O God. Receive your children as they lift their voices to worship you. Receive us tonight, Jesus. Receive our divine and worship to you, Lord. Receive the glory that originates from the gratefulness of our hearts because of your provision. For your provision alone. For your provision alone. For your protection alone. For your anointing, O God. For the favor you bestowed upon us. We want to return glory. We want to return worship to you. We want to return worship to your name. We want to return worship to your name. We want to worship you, Lord. Accept our worship this evening. Children of God, wherever you are, give Jesus your undivided worship this evening. Tell him you're worthy of the praise. Tell him you're worthy to be exalted. Tell him no king is equal to you. Tell him no ruler equates to you. Tell him no mighty power in heaven, on earth, and below the earth can equal to you, Lord. We only know one king. We only know one Lord. And that is you, Lord. That is you, Lord. We choose to worship you. We choose to exalt you. You fill up the valleys. You fill up the valleys, oh God. You fill up the valleys, oh God. You fill up the earth, oh God. You fill up the universe, oh God. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. In you we find our being. In you we find our whole being. In you we find our completeness. In you we find our wholeness. In you we find our completeness. We worship your holy name, Jesus. This is the moment for you and your God. Do not be silent in his presence. He has opened up his arms. He has widely opened his arms to receive you as you worship his name. To receive you as you worship his name. To receive you. To heal you. To transform you. To cause your name to be written among the great names of the earth. You have the space before the King of Glory. You have the invite in the presence of God. Now don't be silent. Let your worship go straight to His throne. Let your praise go straight to His throne. Let your words of gratefulness go straight to His throne. Let the Lord hear the sweet aroma coming, flowing through your worship to His name. Worship the name of the Lord. Worship the name of the Lord. He's mighty. He's powerful to change you, to transform you, to heal you, to change your story, to start up again with you, to start up again with you, to open a new chapter for your life, for your life. Ribo Shanta Kaya, Riko Shante Kerebo, Riko Shanta Kaya. We are in your presence. We only know one king, and you are the king, the prince of peace. The world has troubled us. The waters are troubled. But we know that we can find calm in your presence. In your presence. When the devil steers up the dust, we trust that you, Lord, are able to raise the standard in our lives. When we are confused, when we don't know what to do next, when we surrender to you, when we trust you, you're able to do it over again, to do it over again, to do it over again for us, to do it over again for us, to do it over again for us, to do it over again for us. We surrender to you. We are in your presence, Lord. We are in your presence, Lord. We yearn for your anointing. 
We yearn for a fresh anointing. We yearn for a fresh anointing. We yearn for a fresh anointing. Anoint us this evening to overcome this life, to overcome in this world, to survive in this land. Riko shanta kaya raba baba. Riko shente lebo kori yamanta. Raba kashante kelebo. Riko shente kelebo koshanta. Riba kashante le kori yamante lebo. Riko shale kori yamante keshente. Your children are before you, Lord. Wherever you they are, wherever they are, wherever they are. There is a Susan in Abdabi. She's crying out to you. She needs your protection. She needs your favor before her bosses. Lord, we pray that that your daughter shall be favored in the name of Jesus. In that foreign land, may your children find favor. Riko Shanta Kaya, Riko Shente Koribaka. There is a Brian in Qatar. He needs your favor. He needs your breakthrough. He's trusting you that by the end of this year, he will have profited. He will have gotten paid and he will be ready to do something about his life. Father, bless your son. Bless your son. Bless your son. Bless your child. Bless your children. Wherever they are, somebody's praying and trusting you. In Rwanda, I pray that you will meet them as they pray. Answer their prayer. Answer their prayer. Answer their prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody's in Boston and they have made a vow before you. The when they return to their country, they shall serve you. They shall go to their local church and bless the congregants and bless the church. I pray, Lord, that you bless such a one in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody's crying out to you for an anointing to serve you better in this last half of this year. Hear that prayer. Hear that servant of yours. Anoint them. Equip them. Empower them. Change them. Use them. In Jesus' mighty name. Rika shantaka. Rika shantelebo. Rika shantelebo. Ria manteke shente. Reko shantakaya. Rika yara manteke. Ria ma shantaka. Reko shantaya. Ria manteke shente. As a church, O Lord, we are trusting you for a greater provision in the next 60 days. Rika shantakaya. It's our prayer that you shall touch somebody somewhere in this world, in our generation, to bless this this work to bless this work in the name of Jesus. This work that we do is your work. So we pray that you shall cause provision from all the corners of the earth. From all the corners of the earth, open the floodgates of heaven. Bless us, oh God. Bless us, oh God. Bless us with whatever it takes. Bless us, oh mighty warrior. Bless us, oh mighty warrior. Rika Shantaka. Rika Shantaka. Rika Shantaka. Rika Shantaka. Rika Shantaka. And I hear the voice of an angel saying, Your prayer was answered the moment you prayed by the principalities, the evil powers, the power of darkness, and withheld your answers. Oh, Rika Shanta. And I see Angel Michael coming to fight, coming to fight, coming to overpower the powers of darkness, to overpower the principalities. That I've heard your answers. Oh, Rika Shantaka. Your miracle is coming. Your miracle is coming. Your answer is at hand. Ribo Kashata. Riko Shantakaya. Rika Shantakaya. Your provision is now. Your breakthrough is now. Rima Tekeshete. The anointing that you have sought for a long time has been poured upon your head. You shall never be empty. You shall never be empty. You shall never run dry. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, hey, and this is what I feel in the spirit, like a car that has just been refueled. You are about to take off, you are about to take off, and whoever had overtaken you, you are about to catch up with them, and you are about to overtake them. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. 
your business was running low your business was slowing down but I hear the Lord speak to you your business has been refueled you're about to see a takeoff you're about to fly you're about to see prophets like you've never seen in Jesus mighty name now that you have prayed your prayers have been answered your prayers have been answered you're about to profit you're about to profit you're about to profit you're about to see a profit you're about to see an overflow of a blessing at your workplace you're about to see a promotion like nobody in that company has seen now that you have prayed now that you have trusted the Lord he has redeemed you Rika Shatakaya Rika Shatakaya Rikosheteke Rika Shatakaya you have been in pain for a long time hey dear child of God the finger of the Lord is touching you now touching you with healing touching you with healing touching you with healing that back pain is no more in Jesus mighty name that back pain is no more in Jesus mighty name somebody at this moment you have been feeling like you're about to be paralyzed but I feel the power I feel the power coming to you now changing you now healing you now Rikoshataka Rikashataya Rikashataka Rikoshateke Devil lose that child of God lose that child of God lose that ministry lose that business lose that person in Jesus mighty name Rika Shantaka you shall not die you shall not lose you shall not fail you're about to fly you're about to fly you're about to fly Shantake Lebo Rika Shantaka Rika Shantaka Rika Shantaka Rika Shantaka I can see angels celebrating your victory in Jesus mighty name I can see a party in your family in Jesus mighty name you have cried for so long your family is about to, to enjoy your family is about to see a party in Jesus mighty name now that you have prayed now that you have prayed now that you have trusted God now that you have trusted in the Lord Rika Shataka Rika Shataka Rika Shataka the Word of God says because you have put your heart on me so I the Lord shall deliver you I the Lord shall deliver you Manteke Shenteke Rika Shataka because you have trusted you're about to see a breakthrough in your family a breakthrough in your church a breakthrough like you have never seen in Jesus name we bless your name we bless your name Jesus for the blessing for the healing for the church for the anointing for the favor for the power Rika Shataka we bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. No, no, Jagaram Kulabe No Nya Yesu Jagaram Kulabe Kulabe Go Jawa No Nya Yesu Jagaram Kulabe No, Nya Yesu. Bani se mi kono. Jagaram kulabe. No, Nya Yesu. No, Nya Yesu. Jagaram kulabe. Kulabengo Jawa Mizimu Kulabengo Jawa Mizimu 
Nonya Yesu Nonya Yesu Yagaran Kulabe Yagaran Kulabe No Lucy Vanekumele Yagaran Kulabe Oliwa Yesu Sound man make sure everybody I can hear them Jagaran Are you ready to worship Are you ready to worship The Lion of Judah Oliwa Oliwa Me I'm okay these people please The Lion of Judah to run in Luke 13. Quickly keep standing. We're gonna worship the lion now. I said worship the lion now. I don't know if you people there are alive. There's so many people here doing nothing. I said we're going to worship the Lion of Judah. Luke 13. Luke 
Verse 31. On that very day, the Pharisees came saying to him, Get out and depart from here. For Herod wants to kill you. And he said to them, Go tell that fox. Someone say, Go tell that fox. Go tell that fox. One, two, three, everybody say it. He's calling a sitting king a fox. For he was an evil king. No one could ever look at him in the face and blame him for nothing, for anything. Herod the Antipas was such a, an evil king when he married his brother's wife John the Baptist said to him you can't do that the king got John arrested he got him arrested and he killed him for pointing at his evil deeds he killed him put his plate on a pl his head on a plate G gave it to his dancing daughter can you use another microphone therefore his father the father to now they are these are like kings as you know Kingship can be hereditary. The father of this king was also called Herod. But his name was Herod the Great. That was his name. Herod the Great. For him, he killed the babies. Can you imagine killing babies? Mind your movements when I'm preaching. He killed the babies. Who kills babies? He did a massacre. Looking for one baby called Jesus. So that one died. After killing babies. Whoever is sitting on that mixer board, you are doing a good job. We are so proud of you. All the microphones are not working. Wow. So he killed babies. So he gave birth to a son who inherited him. So King Herod the Great who, who did a massacre of babies when Jesus was born if for a king he was his, his number one enemy was the church so when he died his son took over. His name, King Herod Antipas. For him, he was so evil, he killed John the Baptist. His brother Philip had a wife that King Herod married by force. So what did he do? John the Baptist said to him long live the king but you are so evil Pastor John the Baptist pointed at King 
and passes evil. Do you still have such pastors? Who can say Damascus? No, that's wrong. Robert, no, that's wrong. That's wrong, Ruth. That's wrong, Chiguri. What do you do? You change church. Or you pick a group and you evil talk your pastor. Because he pointed at your sin. So, King Herod the Antipas arrested John the Baptist and actually killed him. Cut off his head. We all have those John Baptists in our lives. People that bring to us what we don't want to hear. People that come with red lights. That say, no, you can't do that. No, you can't love him. No, you can't be pregnant without a wedding. No offense. No offense. No, you can't do that drink. So when you hit the message, you kill the messenger. That's what Herod did. Cut off his head and gave the baby the, 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 the head to his dancing daughter. Therefore, he continues to say to see Jesus becoming more popular, chasing demons, raising the dead, multitudes following him. The Pharisees came to Jesus and they warned him and they said, You need to run. Before Herod lands his hand on you. They actually said it. He wants to kill you. So run. For years. No one had ever looked at Herod in the face. He had soldiers. He owned the prisons. Nobody tells him anything wrong. Actually, King Herod was untouchable. He actually also had a son. He gave birth to a son called King Herod Agrippa who was also evil like his great father, like his father. His son, King Herod Agrippa, murdered James. Murdered most of the apostles. They were kings of blood. Untouchables. Kill anybody, get away with it. So they come to Jesus, the Pharisees, and they tell Jesus, We got some news. Run. He's going to kill you. Jesus didn't run. He said, Go back and tell that fox. Okay, thank you for clapping. Go and tell that fox. Let me, let me finish it. Luke 13. He called a sitting king a fox. I don't care whether your problem has a palace. I feel like somebody is not. <laughs> I don't care whether your problem has a palace. Jesus says it is a fox. Yes, what he
Yeah, that's a good piano you are playing now. On that day, Pharisees came saying to him, Get out and run. Depart from here. For Herod wants to kill you. That is a threat. You know, you need to understand that Jesus was threatened to be killed. He's not killed yet, but threatened to. This week, everything threatening every symptom threatening cancer it is a what a threat i i have today on this prayer altar may the lord fire threats you know there is a threat that shows like this might result into a serious problem. This is a sign that the marriage may break. This is a sign that I might lose this job. Symptoms on your body that are threatening a serious disease. Go tell that fox. Says the spirit of God. Every threat. No one can kill what God has given life. I said no one, no man, no gun, no weapon, no witch doctor, no, no symptom can kill a church. God has given life. A house. God has given life. A business. God has given life. A marriage. God has given life. Unless the God I know is not the God you know. But if it is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, go tell that king, go tell that fox, go tell that threat that we are not intimidated. The Bible says for the righteous shall not fear bad news for their heart is steadfast trusting in the Lord they are God Your age is threatening as if you want to be married. We are saying to that folks that we know God has a good plan for this child and his people. I said, Pastor, we know God. We know. Write this for me. We know. Somehow we know that God has a good plan for this church and this people. I'm going to say that again. We somehow know that we know that we know God of Isaac, Abraham and Jacob has a good plan for this church and this people. Yeah. yeah. Wake up to that. What I posted today. You God can't wake you up to bitter days. You saw the sun today because God is waking you up to something better. Not bitter. So Jesus. I want, now you know the history of the kings. How dangerous, deadly they are. So when they you better run. Jesus, about 33 years, 32, a shepherd boy, son of a carpenter, tells a king, 
He doesn't have even a single soldier. He's calling a sitting king who wants to kill him that God tell that fox the question should be to those that were around who does this young man trust? Ay, 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 he didn't hear. What does he trust? What does he call himself? A 32, 33 year old boy calling a king, a king that scares everybody, a fox. Oh, now I know he was not just the son of a carpenter. He was the lion of Judah. Who can't run from a threat? Oh, someone say hallelujah three times. Number two. Number three. Herod had soldiers backing him up. What did Jesus have? The entire heavens. Let me prophesy. Today the Spirit of God says you may look alone but the entire heavens is upon you now. They are watching over you. Yes! That's one day why someday he spoke and people wondered and they said to one another he speaks with authority he speaks with authority let me tell you John if today you are made minister of defense even if it is secret and they show you where they keep the armory the tanks Uganda has the, 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 the war planes and they show you the guns the weapons that are hidden in camps and barracks when you come out of that barracks you shall speak with authority then they will say what happened to the son of Chiguri he just came from the sacred place where the weaponry is so Jesus the one who Herod is threatening to kill is not coming from just the carpenter's house <laughs> he's coming from billions and zillions of angels his father is the owner of heaven and earth he has the keys to life and death he is the author of life he is the bread of life he is the answer of prayer he is the lawyer to the widows the defender to the weak the lion of Judah the morning star the lady of the valley El Shaddai the ark of Noah the, his name is Amen the lion the savior of the world the king of kings the level of mountains the way maker the morning star my lover lover of my soul my redeemer my king my lawyer my defender my warrior maker protector defender soldier lion and the lamb so he says go tell that fox because it's the lion 
the lion is not the strongest animal in the jungle rather it is the bravest the ox is strong the leopard is strong Engo. The elephant is scary. But the lion is brave. It despises the size of an elephant. And it sees lunch. When a lion sees an ox, <laughs> It says dinner. So when they come to this 33-year-old boy called Jesus, <laughs> they come with the size of an elephant <laughs> to threaten a liar. Go tell that fox. So if you believe in Jesus, say, I believe in Jesus. If you believe in Jesus, the size of your problem no longer matters. It is the source of your power. If you are a believer in Jesus, the size of your debt doesn't matter. The size of your problem no longer is the source. So when they tell, run. Who tells a lion to run? That's what the Pharisees did know. He replied them by saying, your king should run. I don't care whether he has a palace. I don't care whether he has a problem with me. If he has a problem with me, he's about to face a liar. Go tell your fox. There are four. In Acts 12. King Herod Agrippa, the son to King Herod Antipas, the grandson to King Herod the Great, kills apostles by sword, burns them up commands people to stone them to death like Stephen. Arrests James, kills him. Goes ahead to arrest Peter. Thank God for the prayers. <laughs> Someone say thank God for the prayers. I wouldn't be here today. Do you understand English? I repeat. Thank God for prayers. I wouldn't be here today. Why are you here? I said thank God for prayers. I wouldn't be here today. How many of you are saying the same? Thank God for prayers. Write that for me, Raymond. I wouldn't be here today. Clap your hands if you wish. Stand up, people. Clap your hands to Jesus for the prayers. Yes, Lord, this is for you. When Jesus is Lord of your life, the problem of your, the size of your problem doesn't matter. So King Herod Agrippa murdered the church people. One day, he made a speech in his royal robes. He spoke like a god. He did honor God in his speech. 
I wonder how, how do you speak like a God? The Bible says, for people said, His voice is not a voice of a man. He speaks like a God. Mm. I, they didn't tell us what he said, but for me, I think this is what he said. He said things like, You, you die tomorrow. <laughs> No one could save him. You, you never been anything. Do you know cancer speaks like a God? Do you know some people speak like a God? So God sent an angel from heaven. Right there when he's giving his speech. The angel came with a slab. One, two, three. In his, in his speech. One, two, three. Ha! He died. He wrote, he, got, he started to rot right there. People who said he speaks like a God. Started to say he stinks. The fox died like a fox. The end of Herod's story. Whatever had been there for a long time. I said whatever had been disturbing you for a long time. Whatever was threatening you. One, two, three, get a slap. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Poverty has died. Cancer has died. Demons have died. Yes. You can't scare a liar. So we hide our children in the lion. We hide our business in lion. We hide this church in the land of Judah. We hide your mother in the land of Judah. We hide your future in the land of Judah. We hide your ministry in the land of Judah. For if we are scared of Herod, for us we are scared of Herod. But Jesus is not. So what am I going to do? I'm going to hide in him who is not scared of him. I'm going to hide in him. I am going to hide and disappear in him. Because what I'm scared of, he is not scared of. Jesus is not scared of your enemies. Jesus is not scared of your cancer. Jesus is not scared of your demons. Jesus is not scared like you are. So hide. Hide your marriage. Hide your career. Hide your ministry. Hide your children. Hide your heart. Hide your body. Hide your future. Hide your marriage. Hide your plans. Hide in him who is not scared of what is scaring you. Amen. Amina. Amen. Amina. Now lift your hands. From this day, may the Lord slap that fox. Whatever is threatening you, whatever symptom, whatever symptom, 
that is threatening you. The Lord is threatening it too. Whatever sign that he prophesies evil, that prophesies death, that prophesies disappointment, any sign that is threatening death, death of your career, death of your relationship, lift your hands. Jesus is not scared. So let every threat on your body, in your career, let it be handled now. Be handled now. Be handled now. Let the lion roar. The liar, King Herod, was trying to scare a liar. Jesus, the liar, not intimidated. He's not intimidated. The good news is, he's my Lord and Savior. Oh, I gave him my life. Have you given him your life? You should give Jesus your life. And hide in him. Who is not scared of death? Who is not scared of tomorrow? Who is not scared of the night? Who is not scared of the night? Yes, that he is not scared of the night. Hide yourself in him. Hide your children in him. He is not scared. He calls your problem a fox. He can kill it with a slap. So, Lion of Judah, we worship you. Lion of Judah, you are holy. Lion of Judah, we worship you. Lion of Judah, you are holy. Lion, lion, lion. We worship you. We worship you. Oh, Lion of Judah. You are holy. Lion of Judah. We worship you. 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 We worship you.
The King of Ages, Lion of Judah, reign, Jesus reign. My King of Ages, Lion of Judah, reign, Jesus reign. The King of Ages, King of Ages. Lion of Judah, reign. You're the King of Ages, the King of Ages. Lion of Judah, reign. Jesus, reign. The King of Ages, Lion of Judah. The King, the King of Ages, Lion of Judah, Rain, 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 Jesus, Rain, the King, the King of Ages, Rain, Jesus, Rain. Jesus reign. Clap your hands and receive your testimony. His word makes us wiser. His word makes us stronger. His word gives us hope. His word gives us peace of mind. His word gives us strength for today, strength for tomorrow. His word gives us confidence to walk through tomorrow like a lion. His word, Raymond, write that for me, I love it. His word, gives God his word, gives us confidence to walk through tomorrow like a lion. His word gives us confidence to walk through trouble times like a lion. God is word, gives us confidence to face tomorrow like a lion. I think that's better. His word, God is word, gives us confidence to face tomorrow like a lion. So we'll face tomorrow, not as a goat, not as a coward, but as a lion. For the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. Yes, Lord. Somebody clap your hands to God. Hey, man. Hallelujah. Amen. 
special seed let's pray tithers, sowers and givers in the house of the Lord lift your seed, lift your hands lift your tithers Father God to the faithful in the little you shall give them much you shall trust them with, a, with much. Some people out there have faithfully sent us support. They faithfully sent us support. Bless them, Lion of Judah. Keep their property. Protect them. Show them blessings. Shower them with your blessings. 
and let every financial need be met. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the same anointing, the numbers are on the screen, the church account, send your seat now when we are still here. Because of your support, the kingdom work continues and the Lord will bless you for your generosity those of you that are here live thank you for being here clap for yourselves lift your hands may the Lord bless you too and do you good in Jesus name Amen thank you for being here live get your seed too and plant it now. I also want to make a special announcement. As the lead of this church, you are part of us. You've been blessed in a way. I need to be very, very honest with you. This tent has run old. When it rains, we can't be in this tent for the next four months. If you love us and you love the Lord, we are setting apart 60 days starting this Sunday. We are trusting God for 60 million Ugandan shillings, about 16,000 US dollars. Not to buy a new tent, because uh -uh. it will be old after eight months. To raise the wall on the church. When the wall is up, then we'll talk about roofing the church. So you can be part of the 60. 60 people 60 days 60 million we can do this if you pray about it first all 120 people with 500,000 Ugandan shillings which is about which is about 150 US dollars about 160. So 1 million Ugandan shillings is 260 plus US dollars. So pray about being part of this. It is not your normal offering. It is not your tithe. It is a special seed. So to those people, God be with you. Provide for you. And in 60 days, I will come back with a testimony. By faith, I don't know you, I don't see you, but the Lord knows you and He sees you. So do it for the Lord. Whether this is your church or not, do it for the Lord. I love you all. I hope by now you've sent your seed. So the special seed will start Sunday for 60 days. I believe that in four months, by the time this tent is totally worn out, we will not be, we'll have a testimony. Who are we? to be part of what God is doing. So pray about it. Send us something. Every fox one, two, three slapped. Every fox slapped. Every fox slapped. Every fox slapped. Seth, amen three times. Number two. Number three. All right, people, give it up for the choir. Where are you, the choir? Where are you? Stay here. Where are you? Uh -huh. Chiguri John on the piano. Robert Smart on uh, the jazz. Eric on the guitar. Uh, who else is here? Uh -huh. Elijah Love on the camera. Raymond and Isaiah on the computers. Who else is there? Saddam, Pius. Who else? Viani on the bass guitar. Oh, we didn't see you, our Vian, today. Who else is here? Fred? Eh? 
Fred on the mixer. Eh? 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 Alan. Alan, Alan right here helps us sometimes. And uh, Pius, I said Pius already. Mama, Pius loves you. He wants me to tell you, to tell people about you three more times. And of course, uh, Ben on security. Emma, our driver. Clap for Emma. He drives everybody after church. All right. Now, you people that are here live, it is late and there is curfew. Please go. I love you. I will see you tomorrow lunch hour. God bless you all. Lunch hour. Come up. 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 I love you. God bless you all. We'll see you tomorrow lunchtime. Yes, Remember, go tell that fox. Jesus is the lion and you are safe. Every threat handled. God bless you. See you tomorrow.